Hi. I guess I should firstly apologise for my radio silence in my blogosphere. Um, there's no real excuse other than the fact that I've just been so incredibly busy with Copperfield. Um, and then I got to the point where I feared I had so much to say, I didn't know where to start. But so much has happened since the last time I stuck a camera in my face, um, such as the fact I have really short hair now. What you're about to see is the day that I received my honorary, I still can't say the word, doctorate from Nottingham Trent University. Um, I still struggle to sum up that day because it was so bonkers, um, but also very special and one day I certainly won't forget in a hurry. I would never have imagined that I would have received a um, doctorate for the work that I do with Copperfield, um, but it certainly gives me a right boost to keep doing it, which is obviously great, but also just experiencing the whole day because I actually never got to graduate from university because um, I don't have a degree. Uh, so just experiencing the customs and being part of a procession and all that kind of stuff was really quite something um so i want to say another thank you to nottingham um trent university for giving me the amazing honor of um a doctorate i did particularly like my outfit i have to say that apparently the more colorful you are the more honorable you are which makes me pretty freaking honorable because i was so technicolored um i was really sad that i didn't get to keep the outfit but I mean, I understand why, but it would have been nice. I was also in really good company because the same week that I got my doctorate, um, Mr. Jam did. I love Mr. Jam. And also Vicky McClure from This Is England, who I really, really like. Um, so she also got given an honorary doctorate from Nottingham Trent University the same week that I did. So I was in awesome company. So watch this and then I'll tell you what else has been going on in the life of me. Hiya! We're en route to Nottingham tomorrow morning. I receive my honorary doctorate from Nottingham Trent University. Thanks guys. A little bit nervous about my speech. It includes Disney quotes so it's gonna be okay. Um, I'm almost ready to go into the hall and speak to thousands of students um, about why checking your boobs is really important and um, how much this means because it's quite crazy and surreal and um, this hat I kind of want to steal. Oh and also I need to show you my shoes. which I think set off the outfit really well. I mean, everyone needs pom-poms when they're getting an honorary doctorate, right? Ma, thoughts? Yeah, you look like a parrot. I'm just trying to do a little Instagram view, looking like a parrot. A suitable emoji for such an occasion. Parrot? Do they have a parrot emoji? Um, uh, chicken? Now, if you recognise that quote, then you 
are already winning at life. Um, there will be days when the world seems to be conspiring to be against you. Um, at that point, do not underestimate the power of a cup of tea and also neighbours. And I don't actually mean the people living next door, but they might help. I mean the TV show. Um, <laughs> Um, so what else? What else? What else? Um, I've had a very busy summer, much busier than usual. Um, lots of stuff has been happening at Corporate Feel. A lot of it you'll find out about in October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, most breast cancer charities are gearing up for that month. Um, I mean, we're busy all the year round, and. I just want to remind you that just because we make a lot of noise in October does not mean that you shouldn't be checking your boobs all year round. And also, quite excitingly, I'm going to write a book. I think I've mentioned this before, but um, now it's officially happening. I mean, I haven't been published yet and I haven't got an editor, but it is happening, even if I don't. The title's going to be How to Litter a Turd, um, because the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to sound like really growing up and clever in my book title, the more I realised that my life is just pure and simply about littering a turd called cancer. Festifeel, oh my god, that is one very exciting event happening on the 10th of October at the House of Vans. Um, I've been working with Fern Cotton on putting together a really freaking cool lineup it's awesome um i really really like it if you came there's still some tickets available um my team and i have been working our freaking asses off um <laughs> we do we really do put everything into this event um maybe too much um i wake up with night sweats thinking people won't come i wake up thinking that the toilets will flood i have a lot of irrational thoughts about festival because it means so much. Essentially, it's a day to celebrate boobs and the end of our summer boob tour, and it um, basically brings music, boobs, awesome people, artists, our patron fern, and smiley, happy people together, and reminds us why we should check our boobs. I guess I should update you on my health. Um, there isn't a great deal to update you on, the only thing is that they think they might have found another tumour in my liver, but we're not sure yet, so I need to have some more scans to find out what's been going on there. It's a little bit frustrating when I don't know what's going on. It's a little frustrating when blood tests tell me that there's more active cancer in in my body, yet we can't necessarily locate it, and it might actually not mean anything. And that, my friends, is cancer for you. It is unpredictable, It's it messes with your mind, it tells you one thing, does another, and really there's not much you can do about it other than just get on with life. So that's what I'm going to continue to do, because um, I'm actually still feeling really well. Um, in fact, someone recently asked me if I still got it, and yeah, I have, unfortunately. I wish I didn't, but I do. Um, right, I'm going to leave you to it now, I'll see you next time. Peace out, or whatever the cool kids say these days.